Mbappe and Haaland have had incredible seasons as they both won league titles. Well, surely PSG aren't going to bottle it from here. It's clear that they're the future Messi and Ronaldo, but there's one question on everyone's lips. Can they do it on a cold, rainy Tuesday night in England's 12th division? So I've moved them both to Collingham FC, a 12th division side just outside of my hometown Lincoln. I've also set their reputation to 1 out of 10,000, and with reputation that low, not even their teammates are going to know who they are. But how how long will they stay unknown for? With their level of ability, they're bound to score 50 goals each in England's 12th division. And how long is that going to stay quiet for? Surely a big club is going to swoop in for them, or will they just get passed around non-league football? And so a year into the future, Collingham have not been promoted. They've come fourth place in the table and, um, well, neither Mbappe or Haaland are on the top scorers. Right, I am really confused at what's going on here. Oh, Mbappe is still at Collingham. But he's only made two appearances, scoring two goals this season. Why? 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 He's currently got bids from a whole host of decent clubs, so that must mean his reputation has gone up. Yep, yeah, it's absolutely skyrocketed for some reason. Um, has he played for France this season? The answer is yes, because he, <laughs> he won the 2022 World Cup Golden Boot. And France got knocked out in the second round, so he got all of those goals in the group stage. Wait, what? Mbappe's not scored a single goal at this World Cup. Unless for some reason it's drawing the real results from the real World Cup for this fake one that happened in game. Haaland on the other hand, uh, also only played two games with Collingham and then moved to Zenit St. Petersburg in Russia, which um, I'll be honest is probably not the best career move at this moment in time. He moved in January though, so I have no idea why he only played two games up until that point. So instead what I think I'll do is go back and lock Mbappe and Haaland at Collingham for the rest of their career to see if they can take a 12th division side up to the Premier League. Although with 11 promotions needed, they might have a better chance of winning if they play fantasy football and win 10 grand in the process. You see, I've been approached by Fantasy Five, a free-to-play fantasy football game with cash prizes. Although it is the last weekend of the Premier League season coming up, they have lots of money that they still need to give away, so they've got a £10,000 jackpot available to win. There's a link in the top line of the description which takes you to their website. If we get started, you can then pick your five players from five selected Premier League games to try and win at this £10,000. You've got to pick one player from each of the five selected Premier League games to make your five man squad. The aim of the game is to select players who are going to outscore their target points. So for example, Tielemans as a midfielder gets five points for scoring a goal, and if he plays 60 minutes or more, he'll get two points. That equals seven, that's beaten his target, and we're in for a chance of the money. So it takes just a few minutes to pick your team. This is mine, do not copy it because this is definitely going to win. And then once you've confirmed your selection, you're in with a chance of winning £10,000 for absolutely free. I've also made a mini league for us all to get involved with. Uh, it's called Tom them as better ball knowledge than you. Uh, so if you finish above me, you get kicks, basically. That, that's, that's how it's going to work here. But the money has got to be won, so there's a link down to Fantasy 5 in the top line of the description. And if you want to join the league, the code is on the screen right now. Make sure you join the league once you've signed up for Fantasy 5. So whilst you were busy signing up for Fantasy 5, I've locked Mbappe and Haaland at Collingham until 2042, when they get a move to Lincoln City for £1. For whatever reason, once again, Haaland only made two appearances for Collingham, scoring three goals, and Mbappe Mbappe only got one goal in two games. This meant Collingham finished in fifth place last season and didn't get promoted. So really what I've learned is if you want to do a good job, then you may as well just do it yourself. So I've made myself the manager of Collingham in game. This means I can set up Haaland and Mbappe to both be advanced forwards. And when I go on holiday, I can use current team selection when possible, which means they will always be picked for a match which works way better as Collingham win the league title, <laughs> scoring 206 goals, but actually conceding 84 as well. It's not that they're any good. They just score a lot of goals. Blimey, there's like a 13-3 here, but also an 8-5 and a 9-4. Like, what is going on? This really is the definition of we will score one more than you. Oh my word. So Harlan ended the season on 138 goals in 26 games, or an average of 5.3 every single match. Mbappe, on the other hand, is rubbish. He only got 48 goals and 25 appearances, but uh, they did get 76 assists, which I suppose is fairly decent. So I suspect they're going to get a straight promotion again the next season. They do. It's another league title as they sc score 251 goals 
but concede 122. Just the casual 160 goals for Erling Haaland. A better season for Mbappe though, he got 59 goals and 73 assists. So I suspect they're gonna get a straight promotion again the next season. Unless you're called Hucknall Town, because they have stopped calling him the following season. I'll be honest, I fail to believe that in a world where <laughs> Haaland's got 96 league goals and Mbappe's got 56, that they haven't been promoted. It's been like a playoff system here. This seems really harsh, only one team goes up. They had a really poor start to the season um, and then a little bit of a poor bit in September and October. I mean, it just, it's just the odd loss every now and again, isn't it? And there is playoffs, but they, hang on, they lost the City and Liverpool 6-0 in the playoffs. Are you telling me that a random team from Liverpool have stopped Mbappe and Haaland scoring goals? Ah, no, it's 2026. It's the World Cup. So Haaland and Mbappe are currently playing for Norway and France in the World Cup, which meant they couldn't play in the playoffs, which is why they lost. Although they are still losing games with Mbappe and Haaland playing, look. I mean, Mbappe got a hat-trick in this game, which they lost. So that is something to remember. Summers where there are European championships, they are going to miss some games, but luckily the next season is 2027, so there's nothing going on in the summer. This should be a promotion. Oh, you've got to be joking me. In, 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 seriously? Also, Mbappe is terrible. He's not even on the top three for goal scorers this season. 36 goals in 33 games. What are you playing at, lad? Erling Haaland is just clear with his 114 goals. The worst part about this is they lost in the playoff final with Mbappe and Haaland playing in the team. And they were 3-1 up at half time. Why is this so much harder than I thought it was going to be? Like the, the rest of the Collingham team are just terrible. And of course the next year is the European Championships. So we're gonna be missing Haaland and Mbappe if they don't win the title, which they haven't done. Poor season for Haaland to be fair, only the 82 goals. Um, not good enough, is it really? All right, the next season has to be the one, surely. Again, they're going backwards. H how is this happening? I don't get it. Since being promoted to the 10th tier, there's been, what, a second, second, fifth, and now fourth. That's what they've done in tier 10 so far. This is actually a joke. I'm gonna jump forward a bit further this time and just hopefully see they've just gone, you know, upwards, rocketed up easily. Let, let's have a look. Oh, they finally got a promotion, but it took them another two years to get there. 20, 30, 31, they finally got promoted up to the next level. And the year they got promoted, they only just won the title ahead of Sleaford Town, but they did score 228 goals. Erling Haaland's early on amateur numbers right now, 66 and 31 this past season in 2034. I mean, it's not good enough, Erling. It's actually Mbappe who's starting to play a lot better. He's got 82 goals this past season. The promotion year, they got 105 goals. But we have been here for 12 years now, and all we've seen is one, two, uh, three promotions. Bless him, Mbappe's 35 years old now. He's not got long left to play football. This has not gone to plan, and I was kind of tempted to scrap the video because of this, but actually it's just quite funny how it's all just fallen apart. So I've gone a little bit further forward to the point where they retire before they join Lincoln City, and actually they go on until 20, 40, which is a long time for their careers. But you'll never guess what. They never had another promotion. They stayed in the Northern Premier League Division 1 Midlands for the rest of their careers. I mean, look at the amount of goals he scored. It's a real shame for Haaland though, because he never quite reached 1,500 goals for Collingham. Bit of a letdown, really. Mbappe only got 856 goals. I mean, it's not even a thousand. Amateur numbers, really. Potentially what we need to do next time is just move a full 11 of Wonder Kids to a tier 12 side and see if that's how they get promoted instead because clearly the players around Mbappe and Haaland in this have just been terrible. The best part about this is they've not been earning any money at all. So they really need to win that jackpot on Fantasy 5. Make sure you get yourself entered into that one with the link via the description. So we tried to build Collingham up today, but it's not quite worked. How about destroying a club in Tottenham Hotspur? If you want to see that video, it's on screen for you right now.